All right, when we think about application of force, we can, force is going to be a vector, so we can represent application of force on an object by a vector. If there's many vectors, then the resultant is when we add up all those vectors. So force on a vector can, sorry, force on an object can be thought of as a vector. Many forces, we find the resultant vector. using sums. So let's look at an example of this. We've got a 222 Newton box sitting on a ramp that makes an angle 20 degrees with the horizontal. So let's start by making a sketch. So 20 degrees, it's going to be something like this. And then I'm going to put a box on top of it. Okay, and it is 222 newtons. So that is the weight of my box. It's gonna be pulling down. That's the way that gravity works. So here's my 222 newtons. All right, I also had 20 degrees in here. So what force is required to keep the box from sliding down the ramp? And what is the force acting perpendicular to the ramp? So we're trying to think about our force acting down the ramp. So going this direction, and then our force perpendicular to that. So that would look something like this. So in this case, it's like we've shifted our axes. This is gonna be our X, and this is gonna be our Y. So we know that this angle here, if I put in a horizontal, this would be 20 here, which would be 70 here, which means that this is also 20. So 20 here, 20 here, lots and lots of 20s. All right, so if I extend this out to make a right triangle, Here's my right triangle with my x, y, and my 222. So let's draw that in a more traditional sort of sense. Hey. There we go. So there's my y. Here's my x. Here's my force of 222. Okay, let me erase all these things that, all right. So this was my 20 degrees here. Here's my X. So I can say that sine 20 is X over 222. I could say that cos 20 is equal to y over 222. So if I solve for this, I'm going to get x is approximately 76.0, and I'm going to get that my y value is approximately 208.6. Notice I could have also found this y value using Pythagorean theorem. So I would need to apply 222, or sorry, I would need to apply 76 newtons of force going up the ramp. So my box is going to want to slide down the ramp. So I would need to apply 76 newtons this direction to keep the box from sliding. The force acting perpendicular to the ramp this way is my y component of 208. 0.6 newtons.